This is Morgan. Um, I graduated high school in Kenmore, Washington, and graduated college from Whitman. I studied abroad in Jordan in 2008 and got really interested in the Israeli-Palestinian conflict. So last year I planned a trip to the West Bank uh, to visit some schools, and I found the al Kindergarten, which is right behind us, um, on the website for Rebuilding Alliance. Um, which advocates for the village and uh, built the kindergarten, actually. So I found out that the school, along with 97% of the village, is under demolition order uh, from the Israeli army. So I thought, how can that be? Like, who demolishes a kindergarten? So I arranged a visit to the village, and I went with my brother last Christmas, and I loved it so much that I decided to come back and teach here. <laughs> So here's a little background on the area. 62% of the West Bank falls under Area C, which means it's under full Israeli control. As an occupying force under international law, Israel has a responsibility for the well-being of Palestinians in Area C. But if you take a look at El Aqaba, which is right there, you get a pretty good idea of how this is going. Save for a few structures, the entire village is slated for demolition and all of their requests for building permits have been denied. By contrast, Israeli settlements are given Hebrew street signs, nice roads, and building permits. So there are two systems of law for two different people. Fortunately, al has some support from the international community. Thanks to Rebuilding Alliance and several embassies and aid organizations, al has acquired a kindergarten, a library, a sewing co-op, a tea factory, and a small medical clinic. So the energy here is very productive and very positive. So I live here for two reasons. One, to live in a beautiful place, and two, to show people how beautiful it is. I spend a lot of time thinking about how I'm going to share this information, but otherwise I'm just enjoying life. Um, Palestinians are the warmest, friendliest people you'll ever meet, and I've never felt safer to travel alone than I do here. <laughs>